Simplify the management of your server with Homar, a sleek and modern interface that puts all of your apps and services at your fingertips. Join me and we'll get installed and configured for your system. Let's get into it. All right, here we are at Unraid's main page. To get started, click on apps. In the search box, type in Homar. Press enter. From there, we'll click install. And like always, first thing we need to do is check to make sure the port is available. And the web UI by default here is 10,004. So let's find out if it's available. I'm going to copy 10,004. Scroll down to show Docker allocations. Then I'm going to hit Control F to do a search. We'll paste in 10,004. And it's showing one result. It does not show up under Docker allocations, so we're clear to go. Go ahead and hit Apply. And then I'll start downloading the container to your server. And while it's downloading, I thought I'd show off my nice new shirt I got. Mm hmm? What do you think? <laughs> All right, that is done. Let's go back, scroll down, click Done, and go up to your Docker tab. And as always, make sure you turn it on on Auto Start. Click on the icon for Homar and click Web UI. And welcome to Homar. To get started, go ahead and click Start Update Process. It wants an administrator account. So go ahead and put in a username and a password. I'll keep mine pretty simple. Super secret password. Confirm super secret password. Continue. Never. All right. And to get started, let's click on Go to Your Dashboard. There you go. It's set up and installed, but not configured. So let's work on that now. In the top right, click on Customize Dashboard. Here, I'll give you lots of options to customize it to your individual settings. You can create a sidebar on the left. You can put it on the right, and you can enable pings. That I will enable. You can configure anonymous access and the different settings for column sizes for small, medium, and large. Scrolling down under Page Metadata, up here in the top left, it says Homar. We can change that. Let's call this Demo R. And then the title of the page, we can change that as well. If I can spell, there we go. You can choose a custom logo, custom icon, and then you can change several options under appearance, the background, images, image sizes, colors, and so on and so forth. This is good for me, so I'll hit save changes and go back to board. And now you see at the top, our Homar has been changed to its new name. This is the default dashboard of Homar. There's lots of stuff in here that I don't really care about, so I'm gonna remove that clean that up and suit it to my needs. In the top left, click on the pencil icon to enter edit mode. And now you'll see that each tile has a little gear icon on it. And that allows you to edit each individual item. For the weather over here, it's set for Paris and it's in Celsius. So I'm going to change that by clicking on the gear icon and then click edit. The weather location, you can change in there. You can put in your zip code. For me, I'm going to have some fun with it and do 90210. Once your location is selected, click the select icon on the right. At the top, you can change it to Fahrenheit, click save. And now you see that it's updated that information there. And then the contribute option, I'm just going to remove that one. Discord, I'm going to remove that as well. The donate, I'm going to remove that. Click on the gear, click remove. We've got a couple different tiles here for time. So I'll click on that, remove one of those. Click the other one here. We will go to edit, change the time zone. And I am in Michigan, so let's set it for Detroit. So I think that'll be the closest option. There we go. And I'll leave it on a 12-hour format, so I'll change that. And we will include the date here. I'll go with that format. And for the clock title, we can change that to title and time zone. We hit save. And then documentation, I don't need that. I will remove it. Once you're in edit mode, these tiles, you can just click on them. Whatever works for you. But I'm going to spread them back apart like that. All right, once you've got your dashboard cleaned up to how you'd like it, go ahead and click on the exit and save to save your settings. Now let's go back in and configure it to our liking. Go back into the edit mode. We'll click add a tile. Then here we've got different options. We can add an app, we can add a widget, or we can add a category. Let me explain what these are real quick. The apps are different apps that are on your system that you can have the Homar page display for you. Widgets are things like the weather, a calendar, the time, those kinds of things. In categories, you can create customized containers that you can put your apps inside of. We'll click Add Apps. Under the app name, type in the name of the app that you'd like to add. In this case, I'm going to add Plex. 
I'm not sure why it gave me an Apple, old Apple logo. We can change that though. All right, we'll change this to the IP address of our Plex server. Which for me is 10.0.0.11 and port number is 32400. I'm gonna copy that to the external address. All right, and behavior allows you to add a little tooltip. So when you hover over it, it tells you what it is. So we will call this uh, Plex Media Server. And the network, there's nothing to configure there really. The appearance is where you can change the icon here. So we will get rid of this information and type in Plex. And there's, you can choose whatever logo you would like. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Do the default icon for it. And under app name status, you can change where you want the name to show up. You can show the title only. You can show the title on the tooltip hover only or don't show it all. I'm gonna leave it on defaults. The app name font size is fine, the location is fine, and the line clamp is fine for me. So I'll go over to integration. And here we can select the service we want it to integrate with. In this case, it's gonna be Plex, which is right there. And then it's gonna want an API key for Plex. So let's go over to our Plex server. Plex web UI. All right, in Plex here, let's go to a library item. So we'll go with It's a Wonderful Life, open that up. And once we're in the item, you click on the series of three dots here in the center, go down to Get Info, and at the bottom of that Media Info window, click View XML. Up here in the address bar, if you go all the way to the right, what we're looking for is the Plex token. So we'll highlight that information, copy that, go back to Homar, and we'll paste it in as the secret. Then we click save. Since we're still in edit mode, we can drag that up to the top here. Let's go ahead and add another tile. App, let's call this one, let's do radar. And it did find the proper icon this time, good. All right, let's go back to our Unraid server. Find radar, click the icon, web UI, copy the address up there, back to Homar, and paste that in as the internal and external address. Behavior, we will call this Raid, radar movie manager. Network is fine. Appearance, the right icon is there. Everything is good for me. Integration, we'll add radar. Then it wants radar's API key. So we go back to radar. Settings, general, copy the API key there. Go back to Homar. We'll paste the API key in and click save. Drag that up there as well. And let's add in sonar. Add a tile, apps. Sonar, found the icon. Let's go back to Unraid. Once again, Sonar, Web UI, copy, Omar, paste it as the internal and external address. We'll call this one Sonar Media Manager. Network is fine, appearance is all good still. Integration, we want sonar. API key for that is in the same location. Go back to sonar, settings, general. Copy the API key back to Homar and paste that in. Then click save. And you get the idea of how that works now. When you're done, Click exit and save. Now let's add a couple widgets. So go back into enter edit mode, add a tile, and then widgets. In this case, let's add a calendar. And we've already got the weather, so we don't need that. Let's add the torrents and the download speed. You can add video streams. So if you have IP cameras, you can add those as well. Let's add a media server. And in the previous video, we'd set up Overseer. So let's integrate with that as well. And if you need to know how Overseer works, I'll put a link in the description for that. If you have any DNS filtering, you can add that as well. If you have home automation set up, you can integrate your home automation with Homar too. Okay, I'm good with my selections for now, so I'll close that. Things got pushed around a bit, so let's clean this up. There we go. All right, I'm gonna save this real quick so the layout doesn't change. You go back to edit mode. Now let's configure each one of these. 
Since some of these are tied to our download client, let's get that added first. So we'll add a new tile, app, and we'll go with Deluge, proper icon, back to Unraid. We'll go down to our Deluge client, Web UI, copy the address for that, back to Homar, paste that in as the internal and external address, behavior, Deluge, VPN, download client networks fine appearance is good icon is correct integration this is going to be deluge so we'll select that from the list and it wants to know the password which will be the password you set up when you set up deluge and click save all right i will save this again exit and save go back to edit mode one of our widgets has already started working this one here integrates with Deluge and shows what's currently happening within Deluge. If I had any files downloading, it would show the name here, the size of it, and then its progress, and the current download speed for Deluge, which in this case, not downloading anything, so it's zero. Over on the calendar here, let's click on the gear icon, go to edit, and from here you can choose what you want it to show on the calendar. Since all the media I have on here is either dummy data or in the public domain, and most of it is unmonitored, let's turn on show unmonitored items. Then the radar release type, you can choose in cinemas, physical, or digital. I'm just going to leave it on in cinemas. And the font size is fine for me. I'll click save. And in this widget here, it shows you what's currently playing on your Plex media server. I have nothing playing, so it's not showing anything right now. But let's go ahead and start something up there. Go back to our Unraid. We'll go to Plex. We'll start an episode of this real quick. We will go back to... Omar, and give it a moment, and then it'll show up here. Let's carry on. All right, let's add a category. We'll click Add a Tile, Categories. Let's name this Media. Click Save. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see a new tile down here called Media. I'm just going to get rid of this Welcome to Homar option, so I'll remove that. To put stuff inside of the Media category, you simply take the items, and you drag them into it. Need a bigger screen. There we go. And when you exit and save, they'll be locked within that category. You can minimize it, and then they'll be hidden, and maximize it so they can be seen again. I'm not interested in having the category, so I'm going to go back to edit mode and pull these items back to the top. And then I will click on the gear icon of that category and remove it. Pretty happy with the setup for now, but as I add other Docker containers to my demo server, I will add them here as well. So for now, we'll click Exit and Save. So the ping option we turned on earlier puts these dots in the bottom corner of each tile. The green one indicates that Homar is able to communicate with that service. The red ones, there's an issue. If you hover over the dot, it'll tell you what's wrong with it. It says unauthorized, 401, been denied. That is the same for all of them. Let's figure out why that is. So first, let's click on Sonar and see if it actually works. And it does. Comes right up. When I first got that error, I was a little concerned that something wasn't set up right. So I looked into it and found out that it's a normal thing. When we'd originally set up Radar and Sonar, we had added a user ID and a password to get into it. And thus, when Homar is pinging it, it can't fully communicate because of that. Let's just check Radar and Plex to make sure. Yep, Radar is working fine. And Plex. That works as well. Just need to sign in one time. To fix this issue, enter edit mode, click on the cogwheel icon, and hit edit. Go over to the network tab, and under HTTP status codes, then in there, type 401, and then down below, click on 401 unauthorized, and click save. That will tell Homer that the service is actually up and running. So for radar, we need to do the same thing. Edit network 401 unauthorized and hit save and plex is the same thing edit network 401 again unauthorized and save there we go then click exit and save and you're all set everything's green 
up and running and working. So right now on my demo server, I don't have a whole lot of services installed in here yet, but as that grows, Homar is really going to help me out and have one quick and easy interface that I can access pretty much everything on my server. So there you go, we got Homar installed and set up. What do you think of Homar? Is it going to be useful for your setup? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out with me today and getting Homar set up. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.